my name is Klaas Bombeke. I'm a senior researcher at the research group IMEC. Um, so I have a background in cognitive neuroscience. I did a PhD in cognitive neuroscience. And now for the past six years, I've been working on, the, on research on the interactions between humans and technology. IMEC will focus on having reinforcement agents in the DARO system. And reinforcement agents are an artificial intelligent technique. But because we also look at the human part, we will try to make these models explainable. I think uh, what Darrow stands for is um, getting this artificial intelligence and automatization into the world of water treatment. But of course we need to make sure that the human side of it uh, is not neglected. Eh? So there are still human operators working in these water treatment plants and we need to make sure that all the introduced artificial intelligence um, is accepted by them and that they like to use them as tools. A big challenge in Darrow is that it's a quite um, complex system water treatment. Um, so there are a lot of sensors involved and a lot of actuator, actuators involved. Artificial intelligence is everywhere nowadays with ChatGPT and all these things. Um, but still there are quite some challenges uh, also related to responsibility. So we have to make sure that uh, the human operators that are working in the plant right now have trust in the system and that they feel some kind of control over the system as well. Well, I'm, I'm personally really interested in the, in the human side of it, of it all. So we need to make sure that uh, people have trust in the artif artificial intelligence. Um, and a big research field nowadays is uh, explainable AI where we try to make artificial intelligence explainable to humans. There are all kinds of techniques to give insight in the black box. Um, there are visualization tools to, for example, to um, visualize a decision tree. So you know how the artificial agent was reasoning. Of course, the power of artificial intelligence is still that it can do much more complicated mathematical operations than humans can, so it, it will never be entirely possible to make artificial intelligence completely explainable, but we should strive to make it more explainable.